hello there hey guys elton here and uh if i seem a little funny it's because it's only the second time that i use my uh my samsung phone uh with the um yeah the selfie stick that my friend ed gave me that maybe one day i'll meet from uh from savannah georgia thanks again buddy i haven't even yet tried the well actually i did try the micro microphone that it came with once but uh eh, didn't uh it didn't seem to record Anyway, so uh, that being said, there what you see behind me. I'm trying to see. I'm, I'm not used to this. Eh? That's there's the uh, the new look bus painting that I did uh, last. Still available, and if you got the moolah, then we can do some business. I might even consider shipping it to Europe. Actually, other than that, eh, I look kind of cool like this, even though I haven't shaven here. And uh, if you want to see Gloria here, I can show her to you. Smells like Gloria. Hmm? Meow. Look at that phone. Okay, so now I just finished making one of these paintings. Very happy to say. Now, you know me, uh, if you guys know me well enough, I'm like too old school, and that is to say. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I've never been the most open-minded person. And of course, you know, cars are my life, as you can see, vehicles are pretty much up here. And there's the Ecto-1 I made a few years back. There's a gift, my friend, uh, one of my subscribers there from, uh, New York, commemorating 9-11. Nice metal. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so I never thought that, um, I would be doing, uh, paintings, for people, but uh, boy, it's kind of annoying to hold this thing. I gotta like use both hands. It must be because I'm old. Anyway, what happened was, see, the thing is that you know there's inflation, right? So inflation is turning out to be a real uh, son of a bitch this year for all of us. And um, then I, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, sales were terrible this uh, past year, the past three, four months for my vintage ads. You know, like it was pretty sporadic and. Uh, all thanks to that son of a bitch, you know, who in Russia. And uh, so then, like, you know, it occurred to me a few weeks back, or not even, I'm like, uh, I'm talking to my friend Scott in Alberta there, you know, his channel, Cold War Motors, right? And we're a lot alike, and except he's doing what I wish I could do, but for real, with real cars and working on them and collecting them and so forth. So I said to him, I said, Scott, if I did, like, you know, a, a painting, like 16 by 20, like this, of a, of a bluesmobile Monaco, would you buy? So uh, I had these these canvases that my mom gave me for a Christmas birthday gift, along with all these different paints, these little tubes. So I thought, why not? You know, I should put them to good use and, you know, make some, some little paintings, uh, specifically maybe to sell more to people, you know. And um, so here we have the end result. This one I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, the 74, uh, famous uh, 74 Monaco Bluesmobile. So that's sold. So uh, Scott is... Uh, it's, uh, it's going to go on his wall with the 61 Monarch I sold him a few years ago. It took about uh, seven, eight hours to do. Also, I'm proud of the fact that also I put in a couple of guys in there. You know, a couple of guys. You know, the guys, right? John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd driving. And that picture, by the way, I used for this was a, a scene in the movie where they're driving like through some festival, like a blues festival with all the crowd and everything. And you see the front of the Monaco, but it's all freaking dirty. And it's in the daytime. So I said, ah, oh, flip it around. I thought about putting the dirt. I'm like, ah, it's just going to be more work. It looks cool the way it is. Leave it, leave it the way it is. Because when it comes to painting, like a lot of things, you know, you got to know sometimes when to quit. I.e. this one, which I just finished. And you have to excuse me. I'm bloody tired, man. I'm busy doing this stuff. I'm going to make videos. And as you can see, it's not exactly a beautiful day today. And did I water those plants recently? Uh, that was a gift from Ben. It's a code wire. You can't smell how wonderful this is inside. It's a mix of oil and wood. This is like probably made in the 40s. Yeah, this is on the top of the uh, telephone poles for uh, back in the day with Morse code. Anyway, so uh, so Scott had the idea. It's like, well, uh, you know, I'm going to, uh, how about you do a, a painting of uh, Details Dave's uh, 65 Impala, original uh, paint, all original car. I said, uh, why not? We're paid in full and... Uh, so, but I, I'm not going to be able to upload this, I think, right away. I'm not sure because I don't want uh, Dave to see this video with this painting. I, I think it's, you know, Scott is getting this for him for a surprise. 
So it's not just to let you know what I'm doing, but obviously to see if I can get any of you guys out there uh, to uh, get something unique, one of a kind there. Just to go in a little bit closer. This is all acrylic, by the way. Doing this freehand there. This isn't like computer art. You can see this is on canvas. You know. And uh show you that again. I wanted to use the phone because it's a higher it's of a higher quality than my uh resolution than my um Canon. Oh by the way, you know what's funny is I didn't realize that you see the sky there is a mix of like blue and black. I didn't realize that the paint was metallic. That's what's funny about it. Even actually here where there's the black shadowing in the tires, some of that is like a black metallic. Anyway, very happy with these. Very happy the way they came out. And uh, again, if you're interested in me doing a, a painting of your uh, your car, your truck, your bus, your motorcycle, you know, whatever it may be, it's doable. It takes maybe a few days a week. This one actually took longer. This one took me a week. It took longer than this guy. And um, yeah, what else can I tell? I think that's about it. Um, you know, it's it's funny how in life, the beautiful thing about life is when you're able to change for the better, not for the worse. And in my case, I never thought I'd be painting cars for people. But man, I got to pay the bills, man. I mean, look at, you know, you, you think I'm rich here? Look at this. I'm in a two-bedroom apartment here, an old building. You know, rent's going up. Everything's going up. So what the hell choice do I have? So it's not, it's like Scott said to me. He's like, yeah, well, you know, it's not hard work. You're sitting on your ass the whole time. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's, it's hard work mentally. You know, if you have to fix things, like, for example, this was... You know, the wire wheel covers on this are not exactly easy to do, not even exact. And and just to go along with things, this is a calendar my mom actually had. My mom, my father-in-law had made up for me and even other people in the family. And there are all these, uh, you know, drawings that I had sold to a friend of my mom's, a successful type. Uh, somebody who was one of my biggest fans of my artwork. And, and it's just all heavy gauge paper like that. All these drawings I did years ago. You know, between like, I don't know, 99 and 2003, 4, I guess. And, uh, yeah. But painting is, you can do more realism with paint. That's the thing. It's like, I don't know, it's almost as if it's true. I thought my mom, was, I've heard a couple of people say something like, you know, people take paintings more seriously than drawings. They see more value in it, you know. So, yeah, like I said, all these drawings are sold, you know. All right, well, that's it for that. <laughs> See how heavy the damn thing is? Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. And, uh, yeah, if you want to talk to me directly about these paintings, 514-598-1773, uh, which is better. And since I probably don't, unless I know you well, like I don't need a cash up front payment, but if I don't know you, absolutely have to be cash up front. Oh, well, cash up, have to be paid up front, PayPal, whatnot, no checks. No CODs, PayPal, or if you're in Canada, e-transfer. Uh, or, of course, if you can come see me, cash, you know. Hey. So thanks again for watching. Take care and adios.